everybody welcome in and happy thursday welcome oh hold on my uh setup's a little weird here ay, 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 ay. good morning everybody though happy thursday hope y'all are doing fantastic <sighs> my goodness gracious hello everybody though sorry for the internet problems we are back though thank you for your patience Dark Chevy, Gabriel, Zero, Zingy, Chevy, welcome in, Luxy, welcome in, welcome, Deck God as well, welcome in. I just came from an Overwatch set for session and, ha, I just want to everything. Oh, come on, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I'm sure you did good, though, Deck God. Hey, Blue Gamer as well, welcome in. Jack, welcome in as well. Welcome, welcome everybody. Ah, goodness, goodness. Happy Thursday, everybody. Hey, Maddie, welcome in. I'm guessing by now most of you are already on holiday break, which is awesome. Hope y'all are on holiday break and enjoying the, the time on holiday break. Ah, goodness gracious. I'm a little bit sniffly, as you can tell today, if you can hear that. <laughs> but how is everybody's Thursday so far? Hope y'all are doing amazing. My winter break started Wednesday. Oh, okay. So yours started yesterday. Okay. I was playing TY the Tasmanian Tiger on the Switch and I was watching your MHA Fantasy AUs yesterday. Ah, I see. Again, regarding the videos, I, I need to uh, address something. I'm sorry. It's been really busy at my house the past couple of days. Um, I will get all of those videos up. I'm sorry that they're late. But please, uh, please be patient and I will get those up as soon as possible. Because this week has just been really crazy for me so far. Just came back from watching Aquaman 2. Oh, how was it, Maddie? Well, there are strong winds where I am, and because of that, I could barely sleep last night. Oh, I'm sorry, Deck. I'm sorry to hear that. Had a final on Tuesday, and I got a 96 on it. That's awesome! GG! Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Good job! Ah. Goodness gracious. I am thirsty, and stuffy, and, uh... In a holiday, uh, holiday prep mode here. <laughs> I think that it's that time of year where people are getting sick due to the freezing temperatures because I'm also feeling sick. The funny thing is, it's not even cold where I am. It doesn't get, like, quote-unquote cold where I live. Dark, good morning. Uh... I just have a bad allergies. I think it's just bad allergies. <sighs> Anyways, I'm excited because we'll get to uh, continue on with Professor Layton today and continue to do some more puzzles, which will be absolutely amazing. If I'm being honest, I didn't really like it. I like the first movie at least. I see, Maddie. I'm freezing in my socks here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Omega Rock, welcome back. Welcome in. I didn't see you in the trap before. Hmm. Goodness me, though. It seems like everybody's kind of getting sick with the holidays. Prima, welcome in. Prima, hi. Oh my goodness gracious. Wait, puzzles? Do I need to get papyrus for this? Nah. I'm good, Deck. I think we can do this without Pappy's help. As much as I love papyrus, I think we can do this without Pappy's help. I don't think that it's the worst movie of the year, though. That would go for the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I've never, like, I have no interest in seeing that movie at all. Mel Spider! Congrats on the 35 stream streak! Holy cow, congrats! Oh my goodness. 
been a weird morning today, but at least I've eaten and maybe I can forget the stupid. Oh no. That's never a good thing. <sighs> oh wow. Yeah. Hold on, I think I gotta sneeze. I, I'm at least I think my nose is like telling me you might have to sneeze because <laughs> I've been uh, sniffling a lot. But despite all the internet problems, at least we're uh, at least we're here. Bless you in advance. <laughs> I don't know if that works that way, but thank you, Dark. <sighs> What a morning. <laughs> you have no plans watching the Pooh horror movie? You don't have to. You're not missing out. I see. Oh! There's really. Oh! Hello? Mixes Pitlick 34 joins the guild. Mix it. Mix it. <laughs> Mixing Piltic, uh, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but, uh, welcome in, thank you so much for that follow, and welcome to the Shades Layer Guild, welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome into the chat as well, welcome, welcome. A little bit. You can call me Mixie, okay. It's nice to meet you, Mixie, welcome in, welcome, welcome. I totally forgot your app, your answer, but were you having connection problems yesterday? That was the other day, Blue Gamer. That was the other day. Uh, yes, we, um... At the end of last stream, we had a blackout. So, uh, yeah. That was, uh, that was not fun. Luckily, I did manage to get back to where I was and save. So that we can pick up from where we left off the next time we play Ace Attorney. Next, uh, not next week, because I'm completely off next week. But, uh, the week after. Congrats on the 35 stream streak as well, Megarock. Congratulations. Eh, no worries, Blue Gamer. It happens. It happens. It happens. It's all good. Do you know how long the blackout lasted? Eh, it was probably a good, like, 15, 20 minutes. From someone who once had a blackout before, yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. Blackouts aren't common here, but they're, um, uh, they can happen. It just, I don't even know why it happened. It was probably just someone messing up a power line or something. Because those kinds of things can happen. They're not fun to deal with, but it's not, it's not the worst one I've been through. So it's all good. All this blackout talk is reminding me of the blackout I had a couple weeks ago. Oh, goodness. Not fun at all. I can assure you of that. <sighs> at least I'm getting in the more Christmassy spirit because we've got presents under the tree. We've, we've got uh, sweets and uh, stuff made. We're going to be making Christmas dinner up on the weekend. It'll be awesome. It made me remember that I said goodbye to 2017 with a blackout. Oh my gosh, that's a way to say goodbye to a year. It was at night and the power wasn't back until 1 a.m. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Thank you for redeeming ad time, Dark. Thank you so much. I'll play that real quick. Ugh, excuse me. Good morning, Bray Jared. Good morning, good morning. I'm gonna wait for the... the ad time to roll off before we start because I know people are watching the ad. Something, sorry, came in and then had something ha coming up. No worries, Grima. Welcome back. That will probably be the last 2023 movie I will watch this year unless I give Disney's wish a go. I actually do want to see that. I know it's been getting a lot of uh, a lot of flack lately, but I honestly want to uh, give it a good watch with an open mind. 
Alrighty, though. I think we should be able to go ahead and switch screens here. Just... Turn on the game sound here. Let me, uh... Switch screen. Ah, here we go. Sorry my hat keeps getting cut off. I don't know how to fix that. Let me, uh... Get started here, though. Let me make sure everybody's here, though. Awesome, Dark! I'm glad you find you're getting your account fixed. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty. Are we ready? Are we ready to continue the puzzle-solving adventures with Professor Layton? Back from having three ads. Oh, my gosh. Alright. Yes, puzzle time! Puzzle time! Alright. Let us begin our adventure once again with Professor Layton. Our story so far. The professor and Luke continue their investigation around St. Mystere for the Golden Apple. Conversations with the Baron's associates lead the pair to the grave of the Baron's former wife. In addition, the two recover a part of Baron Meinhold's personal journal. Regardless of this, Luke and Leighton are no closer to understanding just what the Golden Apple is. The menacing tower at the edge of St. Mystere has roused the professor's suspicion. Eager to investigate further, Luke and Leighton head in its direction. Oh boy. And we have the music change here, so we're getting uh, pretty tense here. So we need to head, find a path to the tower. Thank you for the brain cells. <laughs> All right, let's head to where the entrance to the clock tower, to the tower may be. Should be this way. Yep. Let's keep going. Oh, what's this? Right, the music change. A sign of progression and tension. Yes, Zero. Hello, Zero. Welcome in. Welcome back. It crashed and then the stream was lagging, but it's working. So here now. Welcome in. Welcome back, Zero. Welcome back. Oh, huh? what's that on the ground? It appears to be a scrap of paper. Can you please read what's written on it, Luke? Leave it to me, Professor. Hmm. The boss hasn't been himself since Lady Violet's passing, and he shows no signs of recovering. That's why I've decided to make one as tribute to Lady Violet. I'm sure it will put a smile on his face. Congrats on the three stream streak, Zero! Ah, uh, yes. Now it makes sense. Our mystery author be him. I've worked my fingers to the bone trying to cheer up the boss. Looking out over St. Mestre, I see a thriving, bustling village. With so many villagers to keep in company, maybe he can finally be happy again. Nothing much, Azira. We just started. That's the end of the page. Professor, what's the matter? You look so... And I'm already stumbling over my words. Lovely. <laughs> you look deep in thought. I can't confirm my suspicions at the moment. I think it's safe to say that this goes deeper than we thought. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing well. A little, uh, a little sniffly, but good. Thank you for asking, Zero. I appreciate it. What about you? You're blocking the entrance. <laughs> oh me, oh my. It's not every day I see a handsome buck around these parts. You all look sure impressive, dearie, but let's see if you've got smart. Try this puzzle on for size. This, I'd be happy to solve any puzzle. Have, madam. 
I don't believe we've met before. What? Huge. You want to know my, near my name, dearie? I'll tell you as soon as you solve this puzzle. Dar, come on! Bored, hungry, little irritated. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that, Zero. I hope it gets better. What kind of architecture is that? Well, it's a tower. That's all you need to know. Oh, puzzle number 102. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Back with the earth cake, huh? You've scattered a deck of 52 cards and one joker face down on the table so you don't know which card is where. Next, you start turning the cards over one by one. Assuming that you can't flip the same card twice, what are the percentage odds that you'll turn over all four aces before you turn over the joker? Hmm. Don't worry, Zero. I repeat, puzzles are the only way to get service in this town. Exactly. It's to be expected at this point. It is to be expected. It is to be expected. Hmm. The percentage... The percentage that you flip over all four jokers... If, I mean, four aces before you, for the Joker. Saint Seiya, welcome in. Thank you, Martha, for being the first print to already pick Blayton's brain. Four. Four. <laughs>
I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what if that's not right? But apparently, uh, my mindset worked. Because, yep, one, two, three, four, five. One out of five is 20%. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's right. Smart and looks. You're just a total package, aren't you? I don't like her at all. She's kind of creepy. I'm Martha, and I just love cards. Especially puzzles that use cards. Oh, those are my favorites. I don't think I've mentioned how much I also enjoy the company of handsome gentlemen. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy! Final, final metal pipe fantasy fanfic. <laughs> That's amazing, Rima. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, Professor, don't we have somewhere to be right now? Yeah, let's get out of here, huh? Shall we? I think this is a dead end. This does appear to be the only road, doesn't it? Gosh, that tower sure looks awfully ominous, doesn't it? Seeing it up close, I can understand why the villagers are so scared of the place. Let's take a closer look at this wall. There might be more to it than meets the eye. Hmm. Closer look at the wall. Oh, cutscene! Oh, first mm. cutscene in a while. Hmm? What? Uh. And who Hello? might you be? Hello? Well, I'd rather not say. Huh? Why not? What are you hiding? Uh. Hello? We seek access to the tower. Uh. Do you think you could help us, miss? Hmm. Mm, the tower? Hmm. Huh? Oh, wait! Oh no! What in the world was that about? Huh? Professor, what's this? A Ferris wheel ticket? Very curious indeed. Saint Seiya's, we have not met all of the characters that are in the entire series. I cannot say. Oop. That girl may have brought this to tell us where we should look next. But, but why would she want to help us? Your guess is as good as mine, Luke. Still, I can't shake the feeling she's trying to help us. Well, your intuition hasn't ever been wrong. Let's see what we can find about the park's Ferris wheel. Um, by someone who looks important. Mm -hmm. Oh, and sneaky person in the shadows. Hmm. Who might that be? <laughs> That's right, Leighton. Go straight to the park. You've been a thorn in my side for too long. I think it's about time for you to disappear. For good. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Well, chapter 6 complete. As a person who has the same intelligence as Yayorozu, I think that I'll love this game's puzzles. I think you will, Zangi. Alright, let's go to the park. We got this mysterious ticket. Alright. You realize your Luke voice sounds like Tracer from Overwatch? I have no idea what she sounds like, so I cannot understand the comparison. Jeez. What? Hello, looking man who looks evil. Exactly. Let's head to the park. This park has been closed every time we've come by. Why do you suppose that is, Professor? Hmm. I have an obvious idea. Perhaps we should ask someone at the town hall. Hmm. The abandoned park. Does the park hold the way into the tower? Search the park grounds to find out. 
Oh, they're both British. Okay. Got it. Got it. I don't know the difference because I've never played Overwatch in my life. All right. Talk to the town hall official. Town hall is here? If I remember correctly. I think that's you, sir, right? Is that you say? Gate to the park is locked shut. No, 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 that's impossible. We've employed a caretaker who should have everything up and running. Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut. We can't gain entrance to that place. Please open it for us. That sort of thing is the job of the park caretaker. I strongly advise you to go find him. Well, where do you think we might find this caretaker? Hmm, now that's a good question, isn't it? Managing the park is the caretaker's duty. Who knows who manages the caretaker? Can't say. It's not one of my duties. What a bureaucracy! Manages the town's sewer systems as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you to beat it. What the heck, dude? Oh, she's rude. Sewer. Unpleasant as it may be, the one place we haven't searched yet. Perhaps we'll find a clue to our mystery down there. I've only seen one manhole in town. Oh, right! The one on the path to the park! Well, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Off we go. Alright. Let's go ahead. Stupid autocorrect. This is all. Oh. I hope Luke uses the forest. Then not that Luke. Cavalry is here, indeed. Able to remove autocorrect? I didn't know that was a thing. Alright. Let's head into the sewer. Oh! Search the sewers. Um, no, I don't think. Oh. That leads outside. I think that was where we were supposed to go. No worries, Saint Seiya. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp. Hmm. Wonder, is that this guy up here? You can disable it, but because I have my French keyboard on right now. Ah, I see. Excuse me. Are you by any chance the park here, Victor? Um. No. I'm an explorer of El Mundo. Right now, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the local culture. Oh, um, well, please pardon my mistake then. Have a pleasant day, sir. Oh, wait for a moment, oh, silly. S'il vous plaît. Speaking of French, s'il vous plaît. I just saw a man in work clothes pass here. Could he be the character, the caretaker you see? Would he? Which way did he go? Probably to the right. Well, maybe it was to the left. You're feeling all right. You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. I just arrived here after years of world travel. In this far, the local geography here. That's all. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, I'm tired as well. See, in that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Please excuse us if we need to get going. Wait, which way to the village? Villaggio. Donde está la train station? This dude does not know directions at all. You must be him. That must be you, sir. Oh, there. Now, what can I do, you fellow for? You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening the gate to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse two curious lads such as yourselves? Well, I'd like to open up for you, but I've got to finish this repair job here before I do anything else. Is there anything we can do to help then? Funny you should mention that. If I could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done in a jiff. Do you get any good with things like that? Ah, puzzle time! Squares and circles. Oh boy! Sylvian brought you this diagram to see if you can help him with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. 
How many times larger is the area of the blue square when that compared to the red square? Ah. We really need Poisson as a redeem. <laughs> I'll work on that, maybe. I, I shall consider that. Hmm. How many times larger is the area of the diagram, the area of the blue square compared to the area of the red square? Hmm. There's a, if I remember correctly, there's a way to tell because if you have circles inside of a square. Well... Hmm... Curiouser and curiouser. I'm calling Papyrus BRP. <laughs> no! We can figure it out! So the blue square... Hmm... There's one... Two, three, four, five diagrams of between circles and squares. And it takes four to get to the square. So I guess the simple answer would be four times smaller. Well, four times larger. Because there's four shapes in between it. But I don't know if that's the right answer. That seems way too simple. It seems way too simple, but... Hmm. Oh gosh, Dark! <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna try my answer. I'm like... Not sure that it's even going to work, but it's worth a shot. Luke, here's my answer. Wait, what? Oh! Another puzzle solved. That was right? Eh? If you rotate the middle square by 45 degrees, as shown in the picture above, the answer becomes pretty apparent. The middle square has half the area of the larger blue square. Oh, and the little red square has half the area of the middle square. Therefore, the little red square is one-fourth the size of the blue square. Oh. Okay. That's how they did it. Fine work, the both of you. As soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open that gate for you. Yeah, that ought to take care of this mess. Now let's open up the park, eh? Uh... Dark, are you role-playing right now? Oh, you're role-playing as Papyrus. Um... Can we try to avoid uh, the, ro the RP, please? Because that is a rule. Because, um... Uh, it prevents, uh, like, it breaks the immersion. It breaks the- no, it was a joke. Okay. Okay. Just please don't RP in the chat. Follow the rules there, okay? Alright, Dark. No worries, was just letting you know. Alright. Just hold on one second, yeah? Whoa. There we are. The park is yours to explore now. Professor, we're in! Thank you. You've been a great help here, thank you. I, I hardly need thank you, sir. After all, this is my job. Way back then, I used to keep it open every day, but these villagers, they don't care a whit for me, park. I'm glad you fellas stopped by. First time I've in a while I've had to do me job. 
Oh, that's sad, though. That the people don't care about the park. That's really sad. This park is really kind of sad, isn't it? It's all rusty and abandoned. Just as Sylvia said, it seems that no one set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time. That's really sad. Yeah? There's a plot line. What do you think we've been doing this whole time? Dark, what do you think we've been doing to this, this whole time? <laughs> We're finding the gold, the mystery of the golden apple, remember? Now, on to business. Let's give the grounds a once over around the Ferris wheel of ground once over. Let's give the grounds around the Ferris wheel a once over. I expect we'll find something of interest there. Alright, let's head towards the Ferris wheel. Oh my. What is it, Professor? Look at this poster! The picture appears to be the same one as the one on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's posted here for ages. So faded you can't even read the letters. Exactly, Grima. Oh! Hey, isn't that... Yes, I thought so. That's the little Flora there in the middle of the picture, isn't it? She looks exactly as she does in the portrait we saw of Baron Meinhold Manor. So it seems that Baron Meinhold built this amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. Strange. I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk once it was open to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right you are, Professor. Fought for, e fought for evil or stuff like that. No. Just speculation here. This place is so run down, it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame. I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the kind you see in circuses. Yes, there's something quite sad about it, isn't it? No spring. This was clearly a traveling carnival. Why was it left to rot here and save this air? I bet the Ferris wheel is a mess too. I suppose I won't get to use that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? Somewhere in this park hides a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure you're right, Professor. Or to conquer the world or something like that. <laughs> this must be the Ferris wheel we were looking for. Why don't you look around and see if anything seems odd about it? Dual sure thing, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this Ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? I'm all right. I just, uh, I also had a burp. I also had to burp. Hmm. Oh, found a hit coin. Oh. Virgil. <laughs> oh, from a uh, Devil May Cry. Gotcha. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. There's something quite odd about this Ferris wheel. Makes me wonder if we might have overlooked something important around the park. That reminds me, Luke. Have you heard this wonderful puzzle about the Ferris wheel? Ah. Hold on. Okay, we got another puzzle here. Ferris wheel ride. There are ten two-seater cars attached to the Ferris, Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel turns so that one car rotates through the exit platform every minute. The wheel began operation at 10 in the morning and shut down 30 minutes later. What's the maximum number of people that could have taken a ride on the wheel in that time period? Huh. Well... Uh, enjoy your break, Dark! Well... Considering... Hmm... It 
It's shut down 30 minutes later. There are 10 two-seater cars. 10 two-seater cars. So that's 20 seats. 20 seats. And it takes one card to pass through the exit. So one card equals one minute. The, sh the ride shut down 30 minutes after. Assuming it takes the same amount for people to get on and get off. Hmm. What's the maximum number of people that could have got on? and curiouser. Well, let's think about it this way then. One, the first two people to get in the car, cart, will arrive at 10 a.m. based off of what the puzzle is saying, I think. So, two people get on at 10 a.m. They get off the ride 10 minutes later, because it takes 10 minutes to go around. Seems like a ridiculous amount of time, but yes. Hmm. Huh. So if two people take 10 minutes to go around, that means that every 10 minutes, two people get off. And two more people get on. That's the kicker. Hmm. There are only 20 seats. And assuming each car is filled with two people. When they get in. Hmm. Hmm. saying if people get off the cars if people get off the cars oh wait a minute because if it's shut down 30 minutes later that means in the last like nine or so minutes of operation that means that no one would be allowed to get on So, that means, so we start at 10 a.m., first two people get on. 10.01, second two people get on. It goes this way. This card is now here. Here. At 10 04 It goes this way. And minute i get it now i get it now that means that the car technically becomes the 11th car to arrive which means that this thing goes around 21 times technically not it takes 21 minutes 
for the first rounds of people to go through. By 10.30, the last nine minutes, people have to get off. So I think the answer is... So that would be 21 times 2 for the number of seats. 42? 42? Is that the answer? I think? 42? Using big, big brain math here. Well, here's my guess. Let's go! Let's go! That extra Thank minute counted for something! Today. The extra minute counted! Yes! Let's go! Okay, I got it now. Yup. Because that extra minute counted to get the last person off. So the maximum number of people... 21 sets of passengers. Ah, oh, wow. It was, it was easy to make that mistake, Squid James. No worries. Amazing. Mission complete. Thank you. Excellent, my boy. I should take another quick look around the area to make sure we haven't miss missed an important clue. All right. Let's keep looking for clues, then. Head around this way as we haven't gone here yet. Look, Professor. There's a strange little shed over here. Interesting. It seems this shed routes water to the sewer pipe. I feel those disforants a closer look. Ah. Hmm. And it's locked. It doesn't appear that the door will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park, Luke. Alright, let's keep going then. Oh, hold on. There's something on the ground here. Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. It appears to be a scrap of note paper. You read it aloud for me. Do a thing, Professor. All right, let's see. The older she gets, the more the young miss is catching on to the village secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. The young miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand this other line. What's all this business about a secret in the village? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss. She's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. The page ends here. Aaron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Any other character would have bashed the love, but we're Professor Layton, so not this time. Yeah, that's true. We're Professor Layton. We are just gonna... We aren't just gonna do that. We're too gentlemanly. So in the end, that ticket we per picked up turned out to be meaningless? So it seems. Suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come on, let's head back to the heart of St. Mystere and search for our next lead. Hmm. Seems a little too suspicious, though. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Uh-oh. What on earth? Professor! Get away, Luke! Run! Oh! Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Now Ferris wheel is rolling down the road! Uh, it's not after us! Totally not! Totally not! And then why is it following you? Uh... Whoa! <sighs> that was a little too close for comfort! Someone was remote controlling it. 
I'm sorry, but Layton's face kind of made me laugh a little bit. <laughs> Why would the Ferris wheel? Professor, look what happened to the shed. Well, at least we can get in now. The Ferris wheel must have simply destroyed it. If we'd made a wrong step back there, we'd be rubble too. Welcome back, Dark. Oh my. I think I found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now, what's an entrance to the sewers doing here? This could be an underground passage to the tower. Got to take a look below. Come. I'm right behind you, Professor. All right, down we go. I hope I don't trip. This place is pitch dark. Ugh, and it's cold, too. Dark, you just missed a Ferris wheel chasing after us. <laughs> you just missed epic Ferris wheel chase. Watch <laughs> uh. your step, Luke. Look for anything suspicious or out of place. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, another hint coin. A near-death experience. Yes, a near-death experience here. What's this? Look, there's some sort of stone tablet embedded in the wall. This is clearly some kind of puzzle. I'd wager the solution will tell us the direction in which to proceed. Which way? Whoa! Oh, shoot! Hmm. I remember this puzzle, I believe. Hmm. Tricky. Path you are on. Forks to the left and left in front. The left and right. The left and left. Wow. I, uh, I can't read. I cannot read. <laughs> the path you are on forks to the left and right in front of the sign seen below. Yes, deck god, I have. It is absolutely amazing. Your gut feeling tells you to go. You need this sign reveals the direction you need to go. Find an arrow within the picture. Ha! I like can't the read. Yellow one <laughs> yes, I can't read. Like the yellow one on the side of the board. When you find it, draw a line around it so it's ne as neat as possible. Oh! I see it. It's right... Here. Take a left and then take a left again. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is our arrow, I believe. If I remember correctly. There we go. Yeah, let's go. I missed the Another Ferris wheel because of you, T. What do you have to say for yourself, you T? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. It thinks you think it's going to be tricky, but it's really not. There's our answer. We'll proceed down the left corridor. Understood, Professor. Artisan's teapot. That goes to Layton, obviously. All right. Head to the left. Oh, there's a door. It can't say anything because you drank it already. <laughs> Look, Professor. There's a strange device on the door here. Hmm, seems to be a puzzle of sorts. I imagine the door won't open until we solve it. It's almost like we're being tested, isn't it? Ah, another get the ball out puzzle. Oh boy. This is the trickier one out of the two of them. That there. Here. This and here. This down. Here. This one is really just the idea of getting, uh, literally getting the ball out of the hole. That's all you can do. 
get the ball out of the hole. I drink my tea slowly. Yes. Put this down here. Pull this into the corner. Here. Up. Left. Here. This down. This up. This over. Nope, that does not work. Or does it? No. Here, here. Into this hole. Here. Way. Oh! There we go! I think we got it! Let's go! Down the hole, there please. We go. There we go! And now we have not Tetris. <laughs> Critical thinking is the key All right, bye, Squid success. James. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp. There we go. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now the door is open. Sherlock Holmes would be proud. Indeed. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh. Wow. I certainly didn't expect a room in here. Let's give it a thorough once over. Something is implied about this place. I can feel it in my bones. The professor's intuition is usually right. As proven. Hmm. There's gotta be something. What did I just click? Something's hidden behind here. All right, let's move the picture out of the way then. What do we find? What's this here? <gasps> A key? Here's to be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? Won't know until we investigate further. This shape certainly looks familiar. Is this the key to the tower? Professor, could this be? It's just the tower. I knew there was something on about that dead end. Perhaps this key would shed some light on it. Look, we need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mystere. I have a hunch that it's more than a dead end. All right. Chapter seven complete. We are getting closer and closer to the end here. Oh my goodness. All right, let me save real quick. Cause we are just about at our one hour mark here. So I'm going to take my break real quick before we continue since we're in a good spot. And uh, I will be right back. Please stick around, everybody. Don't go anywhere. I will be back in just a couple of minutes, and we will continue I will continue our Professor Layton adventure. Don't go anywhere. BRB!
Alright, I return. More water. <sighs> ah. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> I may have to blow my nose again, though. <laughs> Alright. But, we are here, and we shall continue on. All right, back to the mystery and back to the wall. Go back to the village, yes. Quite the, quite the conundrum we have on our hands though. Yeah, there's the wrecked Ferris wheel, by the way. Uh, super dark, so you can see it. <laughs> that is the wrecked Ferris wheel that was chasing after us. Yeah, that's weird. All right, head back through town and go back to that dead end. Let's go investigate that dead end right away. All right, but first let's make a quick stop by the inn. There's something I need to check on. By the inn, Professor? It seems that someone doesn't want us around. Ah, one is after for identifying this scoundrel is back at the inn. So you already have an idea who's behind this? Haha, <laughs> it's your interest, right? Oh! So let's see who this mysterious person and troublemaker is that's disrupting our investigation. Who is disrupting our investigation, huh? Who dares to interfere with the great Professor Layton? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Right, down we go. To the end. Hello, Beatrice. Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look a little shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Oh, pardon the mic movement. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? The papers? Certainly. Hang on just for a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I set them down right here somewhere. They're a problem. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning paper seems to have gone missing. Gee, well, thank you just the same. Chris, you've been most helpful. Just what was in those papers anyway, Professor? You who, Professor Layton? Raymond, and for what do we owe the visit? Hmm. Why is he here? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you to Rhineholm Manor. The inspector, I mean. Oh, <laughs> he and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Rhineholm Manor. Thank you for the message. We will set out for the manor in just a few moments. Hmm. Suspicious. Something's going on here. Oh! Th that girl is here again! You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? You mustn't interfere with the tower. Whatever you do, stay away from there. Dear, what do you mean by that, dear? What did she mean? What she mean? Keep heading to the manor, then. The inspector wants to see us. Welcome back, Professor Layton. Please come in. Everyone is waiting. Thank you, Matthew. Something's troubling you, my good man. You seem ill at ease. Oh, no, I'm fine, sir. Please make your way to the parlor. Right, if you're certain that nothing is the matter, you'll head upstairs. Hmm, something is the matter. I can feel it. Ah, Mr. Layton. Thank you for arriving so promptly. Come, have a seat. Why have you called us with Inspector Tumley? Mind you, I'm not the kind of man who beats around the bush, so I'll just come out with you. Come on to you, Layton. Clear as day. You're responsible for Simon's death. Are you suggesting I murdered Simon? 
nonsense. Gifting here. Nice, Nathan. I have to admire the way you keep cool under pressure. But of course, I wouldn't expect nothing less than a cold-blooded killer such as yourself. How dare you accuse the professor? I don't suppose you've seen this before, eh? The face was on display in the room in which Simon was found dead. And all the forensic evidence I've gathered suggests that the killer struck Simon with his face. The killer was no professional. He, he left his fingerprints all over the murder weapon. Fingerprints that match your own, Mr. Layton. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the vase from the market, isn't it? The vase. Rotten murderer. Oh! If that vase is evidence, why did you just break it like it was nothing? So go on and give me an alibi, Layton. Where were you when Simon was killed, eh? Come on, out with it. I was with Luke, investigating matters down in the village. Hmm. Is that the best you can muster? It's clear the little brat is an accomplice to your crime. Hey! Watch it! Admit it, Leighton. You two wanted to keep the golden apple so badly you conspired to murder Simon. Don't fool me, Leighton, so cough it up and start talking. While I'm at it, I'll take the key to the tower you picked up too. It seems that you are intent on pinning this crime on me, Inspector. You are a true enforcer of the law. You'll acknowledge that I'm not the only reasonable suspect. Any number of this household could have committed the crime. In fact, you can't even rule out the possibility that everyone here had a hand in the murder. Furthermore, are we even sure that a murder took place here? What kind of nonsense are you spouting now? You really think that anyone here is fooled by your crackpot theories? Inspector Chumley, I'm beginning to suspect that the only person here with something to hide is you. That's absurd. This has nothing to do in the slightest with me. Are you sure about that? No, oh, Inspector, here we go. quite a bit to do with Oh, here we go. Waiting. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? If there is any criminal element involved in this case, then it is you, sir. What? That's absurd. Mm -hmm. Hey, calm down! Huh? Uh, what utter rubbish! You'll need more than some deaf charge to save your hide. Hmm. Something seems a little bit off. Here, you're quite the devoted husband, Inspector. I expect you take I bet you take very good care of your wife, Amy. Luke and I found this article in the paper. Luke, what was the Inspector Chumley's favorite food again? Sweet potato fritters. This article specifically states you love sweet potato fritters. And you raged at poor Matthew when he brought you sweets with tea. Why? Your point is, it just so happens that I have a fondness for Amy's sweet potato fritters. That's so. Thank you, Inspector. This little conversation has made things quite clear. Please take a look at this. He's found something. I believe you just called them Amy's sweet potato fritters, yes? I'd like everyone to look at this article. As you can all see, the article clearly states that Inspector Shumley's wife is a meal, not an Amy. Luke, do you mean to tell me you've forgotten your wife's own name? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Out with it. Who are you and why have you been impersonating Inspector Shumley? Why have you been ru running this investigation? Your sudden memory loss regarding your wife's name isn't the only suspicious thing about you. Try to recall the time around Simon's death. You said you'd received a report that prompted you to come to St. Stair. You forgot one thing. After Luke and I came to town, the drawbridge, that is St. Stair's sole entrance, had its crank stolen. It effectively sealed the village. From that point on, no one could enter or leave the village. You recall just when this seclusion began. Hmm. When did the drawbridge shut down? 
I believe it was during the search for Claudia. So at the very beginning. Correct. The only route out of the village had been closed well before Simon's death was discovered. Ha ha ha! He's impersonating. He is impersonating the inspector. Oh? Hello? Lucifer underscore underscore joins the guild. Lucifer, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Shade Slayer Guild. Welcome in, welcome, welcome. Aiden, welcome in as well. Hello, hello. After that event, there was no way that anyone outside the village could enter. By the same token, there was no way to think things out of the village, particularly something as large as a corpse. So tell me, Inspector Connolly, when did you actually first set into St. Mystere? Furthermore, what did you do with Simon's remains? Uh. While we're on the subject, I have one more nagging question that I haven't been able to figure out. Welcome into the chat, Lucifer. Welcome, welcome. How is it that you knew about the key to the tower we discovered? Yeah, how did you know about that? What doing? What doing? We are solving a mystery. We are about to uncover who is impersonating Inspector Chomi. When we happened upon that key, there wasn't a soul in the area, save for Luke and myself. Thank you for the stretch. <sighs> Good stretch. Furthermore, furthermore, I have spoken of what we found there to no one. There is no conceivable way that you could have known about this key. Unless, of course, you were spying on us from the shadows when we picked it up. Now let me see if I've got this all right. Thank you, Dark. Oh, excuse me. You posed as the inspector and used Simon's death as an excuse to enter Reinhold Manor. Since then, you've been waiting for the ideal time to strike and steal the golden apple from us. So, how am I doing so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so funny? This is no laughing matter. I'm just, I'm just astounded at how despicable I find you, Leighton. But that's exactly why you're worthy of being my archon. Eh? Oh, and there he is, Don Paolo. I've always despised you, Leighton. I thought I'd be able to crush you once and for all, here in State Mystere. That will have to wait since you saw through my disguise. You haven't caught on yet, but Saint Mystere hides its secret of pep for poor Yeah. When I imagine a dimwit like you trying to unravel the mystery, I just have to smile. Business here for the day has come to an end, so I'll be off now. Listen closely, Layden. Never forget how close you came to being best. One day, I, the great Don Paolo, shall raise my vengeance down upon you. And on that fearful day, you will beg for an umbrella and a raincoat. Perhaps even some galoshes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh! He just broke through the window. His name is Don Paolo. Mm. I guess he's gone. Do you know who that man was? Don Paolo is his name. I've heard stories about him. His grasp of the hard sciences was rumored to be unrivaled. The problem, as you might guess, was his personality. Though he was a genius, the man was evil. Science board banished him from working officially in his field ever again. Sneaking into St. Mystere to steal the Reinhold fortune sounds like the kind of scheme he would hatch. He seems to hold quite a grudge against you, Professor. What did you do to cross him? I haven't the slightest idea, Luke. Hmm. Well, that aside, what was all that talk of a secret hidden in the village? What was he talking about? I'm mystified by it myself. For the time being, though, let's focus on finding the golden apple, shall we? 
I say we follow our newest lead and head for that tower. Let's check that dead end from before, Luke. Yep. At least we know who the the person who was trying to uh, get us out of town was. At least. And tell me is solved. Mystery with tell me is solved. All right. Let's head to that dead end. For real this time. No more distractions. All right. I'm ready to arrest them. Yeah, if you can catch him. He's pretty speedy. Ben, be pretty speedy. All right, up the road we go. It's a dead end. No two ways about it. Maybe there's another pathway to the tower hidden around here. Oh my gosh, that we've come to exactly the right spot. What do you mean by that? Look right here, Luke. A small indentation in the wall where one could place a small object. Oh, so this must be... Yes, this curious indentation is no doubt the spot indicated in Baron Weinhold's note to Archibald. Willing to wager that if we put this in here and give it a turn. Hmm? Ooh, ha -ha. Epic wall opening. Wow. Just as I suspected. All right, Luke, in we go. All right. The tower's secret. A path to the tower has been found. Scale the tower and solve all the mysteries of St. Mysterio. He has been solved. All right. Save our progress? Of course. Oh, we really- we are close to the end of the game. I can confirm that. We are very close. We are very close to the end of the game here. Door. I suppose congratulations are in order. You've made it this far, after all. Of course, it looks like you've left quite a few of my puzzles in town untouched. What was that? Where's that voice coming from? Let's dance. Thank you for the dance, uh, the dance redeem. Hold on, let me play a quick dance for you. Let me, uh, say which one are we doing. Oh, here we go. Hold on, can you guys hear that at all? Let me turn that on. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't, uh, there we go. Can you hear it now? There we go. We're getting close to the end of the game. So we dance in celebration with dope. Hard not to dance. Ah, good music to dance to. Whoa, move my head a little bit too much though. <laughs> All right. Nice little dance break before we continue on. Hidden all sorts of wonderful puzzles across famous stair. Go back to the village, traveler, and test your metal against a few more of my puzzles. Not so unreasonable that I'd make you solve every single puzzle before passing through here, but you're sorely mistaken. If I think you've got, if you think I'll let you through with less than seventy-five puzzles to your name. Seventy-five? Come back when you've got the goods. Who do you suppose that was? Hmm. Can't quite place it. Regardless, it seems that mystery will have to wait. If we don't solve 75 puzzles first, we'll never make it inside the tower. Let's go back to town. How many do we have solved? Oh! Uh, we got a ways to go then. Oh my goodness. Well, 
Guess we better solve some puzzles first before we go through the tower. Solve some puzzles, shall we? Granny Riddleton, do you have some puzzles for us? What kind of puzzles do you have for us? Ah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven puzzles. Seven that'll get us up to 68, so I guess we gotta keep going around town for it. The rest of them then. In a hole. Just kick it down. It's not in a Professor Layton game, you can't. In a hole. Hmm. Why are we in a hole? That's a good question. A tennis ball has rolled its way down into a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay, so digging the ball out isn't an option. However, you have something incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to get the ball out. What do you need to get the ball out in five letters? Huh. Five... Five letters. Five letters. What can we use to get it out? We can't dig, so it can't be anything related to digging. What else could we use, though? Hands? I don't think our hands would fit down there, though. Yeah, it's, and the bend in the middle makes it impossible to retrieve by hand. So you have to use an external force. down the hole, the water will push the ball up. Okay. Water. Oh, no. I can't spell, apparently, though. I think it's water. Because water seems like the most likely option. Yeah, exactly, Zingy. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I just said. Ah. Uh, you a Water. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Every puzzle has an answer. All right. Let's keep going then. All right. Yep. Fill the bucket with water. Violin. Um. Fish. We're just gonna have to keep breezing through these puzzles here if we want to get anything. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had this to say. Me? Oh yeah, I ate it. It was good too. I saw A eat that fish right up. He and I didn't eat that fish. Which of the three brothers is lying to you? But which one is it? Which of the three brothers is lying? So, it's not about which one is, which one ate it. It's about which one is lying. Hmm. 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 Curious. Well, it's not dirt, it's clay. It wasn't dirt, it was clay. B and I didn't eat that fish. The other two are confirming that A ate the fish. C is a little bit suspicious. A little bit suspicious here. I'm saying C. There we go. A, I was right. Let's go! Critical thinking is the key to success. The liar here is C. I see. A. 
C, A, and C split your dinner and each ate half. The answer becomes clear when you realize that if A is lying, B must be lying as well. The same thing happens when you assume that B is a liar. Therefore, the only possible answer is that C is lying. A scenario that only works Amazing. In Mission complete. some of the fish. Huh. That makes sense. That actually does make sense. Hmm. Alright. Television. Alright, let's... We're on a roll here. Let's keep going. Too many mice? Oh boy. Oh boy. We got a mouse problem. Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. The type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies at a time. Oh goodness, that poor mouse. Baby mice mature and can give birth two months after they are born. You pick up one of these dear darling baby mice at the pet shop and brought it home the day after it was born. In 10 months from now, how many mice will you have? <sighs> okay. So one... Once a month, they can have 12 babies. Well, up to 12 babies. Considering the most, if you bought a mouse the day after it was born, it, mice can give birth two months after they are born. If you buy it the day after it was born, it would take 59 days-ish. I'm thirsty. Thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> okay. Um. Hmm. This is a math problem. Hmm. Let's see. Wait. Wait a minute. You buy eight. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a trick question! If you have one mouse, you can't have any babies. You need two mice to make baby mice. You need two mice! Well, here's my guess. What? I'm How many so mice do we have? Oh, wait, you need to have one mouse still. You still have one mouse because a mouse can't have babies by itself. I got it. I got it. Uh, you wouldn't have zero mice, you'd have one mouse. How does this sound? There we go. That was it. There we go. Professor, I've solved it. That's right. Your mouse can't birth any babies by itself. Exactly. You need a you need two mice to have baby mice. Stamp stumper. Yeah, it is a trick question. It is a trick question. A lot of these are. Oh no, this one. Your friend just got back from the post office where she purchased a sheet of stamps which value you from 10 cents to a dollar. First, your friend cut out the $1 stamp and set it aside. Then she divided the remaining stamps into seven uniquely shaped bunches each with a total value of one dollar. Can you divide the rest of the sheet of stamps the same way your friend did? Hmm. Well, it needs to equal a hundred. These stamps need to be in bunches that equal a hundred. Seven bunches of a hundred. Let's do this. Hmm? Thank you. 
number. One here, so you got 50 plus 20 is 70, plus 20 is 90, plus 10 is 100. Um, here, 60, 90, 10 is 100. So, 20 and 10 is 30, plus 30 is 60, 20 is 80, plus... That doesn't work. Um... 20, 30, 60, 90, 100. Okay. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 30, 30, 60, plus 10, 70, Wait, huh? Wait, 30 plus 30, 80. Okay. <laughs> this is tricky. Hmm. This is tricky. Here. Does this. Grid. 90 goes by itself. No. Let me try this again. Here, that's a hundred. Ten plus ten, twenty plus twenty, forty, forty, sixty, so that's a hundred. Okay. Oh, that's a hundred. Thirty plus thirty plus ten is a hundred. Plus 10 plus 80 is 90. No, that's not 90. That's 100. Maria. <laughs> Count. Uh, 20 plus 70 plus 10 is 100. There we go. 90 plus 10 is 100. 20 plus 40 is 60. Plus 10 is 70. Plus 30 is 100. This is it. I think. I think. That should do it. Yes, let's go. Let's Another go. All right. All right. Hevix, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well. Welcome, welcome. A thousand times? Uh, what does that mean? What on earth is this message getting at? The following is written on a piece of paper you picked up. It is a thousand times. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all you need to do is to fill in the blank with a single letter of the alphabet. But what letter could it be? You'll need to use the same letter for all three blanks. The same letter for all three blanks. I was gonna say SOS, but it has to be the same letter. Hmm, this is strange. I think I'm gonna need a Roman numerals. <laughs> that's a good, that's an interesting idea. English only has 26 letters. If you try out each letter, you're bound to come across the solution eventually. Trial and error is true. E. The puzzle talks about one object being a thousand times another. Perhaps this phrase relates to size in some way. Relates to size? Size. Size. Distance. Oh! M! It has to be M. Not N. M. For meters and millimeters and distance. That has to be it. There we go. That's the only one that makes sense. Exactly! 
genius. Critical thinking is the key to Millimeter success. is a thousand times a meter. There, and it makes sense. Look at that. Okay. Ugh. That one was a little tricky. For sure. Right. The odd sandwich. The odd sandwich. What is the odd sandwich? Oh. Using scraps left over from your breakfast, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly into the container? How many times must you cut it? Huh. How many times must you cut it to make it fit? Huh. Well, there's a triangle shape. You can use, like, here. But you can put it into that corner. Then, hmm. Huh. Hmm. part flips this way the piece goes like this then what's left the weird angle flips up this way and fits in that spot so only once you only need to cut it once Luke here's my answer Yes! I remember this one because we had to flip the DS around in order to get it to actually see it. Also, use the memo feature always if you're going to play this game. Because it's good visualizing. Right. Uh, okay. Last puzzle in the uh, house is the mysterious note. After this, we're going to have to go around town and look for him. Mysterious note. A detective who was mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. The note appears to be nothing more than a serial series of numbers. But your gut instinct tells you that this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. Currently, there are three suspects in the case. Bill, John, and Todd. Can you break the detective's code and find the criminal's name? Uh, how are you supposed to do this? I think this might be one of those ones where you're supposed to flip the, the DS or something because it just looks so strange. I think you need to flip it around, so I guess I'm gonna have to write it manually. At nine, this. B, nine. Oh! Okay, it's Bill. It's Bill. That nine flips around to a B, I, L, L. Got it. Got it. That should do it. Ha ah, I knew it was one of those ones. An Bill is boss, he sells oil. Is that what the whole message says? Oh, you're right. Bill is boss, he sells oil. Huh. Nice. That's a fancy code. Huh. And the house is completely empty. Well, we still got more puzzles to find, though. We just want to move on. Let's see. Kevix underscores underscore here joins the guild. Kevix, thank you so much for the follow, and welcome to the Shade Slayer Guild. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. 
Good day, gentlemen. How's your investigation coming along? I can't imagine it's fun for asking questions today. So how about a puzzle to liven things up? Yes, please. We need puzzles. We need puzzles. The sound of silence. <laughs> oh no. Which of these words doesn't make the sound of silence? Note, rhythm, rest, treble, chord, scale. I should know this. I should know this. I am a musician. I should know this. Ah, why am I drawing a blank? Why am I drawing a blank? Huh. Wait, it's not that simple. The trick question. It's Professor Layton. Hmm. Sound of silence sounds like an oxymoron. It kind of is. Scale. Rhythm. Note. Rest. Treble. Chord. Sound of silence. 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 Silent. Silent letters. Silent letters. Which one doesn't have a silent letter? Rest. Rest does not have a silent letter. I think I've got it. Let's go. Oh, that was tricky. Yes. That was a tricky one. Very tricky. Amazing. Time. Mission complete. My my mind automatically went to uh like what what is silence in music? What is silence in music? But it was not about the silence in music at all. It was about the silent letters. Hey. Hmm. I guess the old advice to write what you know doesn't apply here. That was just too easy. Hey, I would say it was that easy. You know, right now I'm penning a mystery novel. I'm basing the protagonist on you. That's why I've been observing you so carefully. In fact, the more I see of you, the better. Good luck with your search. I'll be watching. That's not creepy at all. That's not creepy at all. That is not creepy at all, my guy. Thank you for the redeem, Kevin. Thank you for the GG. Nothing good can be said about that tower. That it's always so sort of scary. Stay away, yep. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say to us. What about you, miss? Do you have any puzzles for us? Where's the fun in running around town if you're not trying to help other people? Why do you feel so dumb? You're mean. You are mean. <laughs> Great show works up a mean appetite. I'm starving. Huh. All right, you with the chess puzzles. What about you? Back for another match, eh? I just knew that you two were a bunch of chess fanatics. Nevertheless, the next one will be easy, even for a pair of chess fiends like you. Ah, so you've got another chess puzzle for us. Oh boy. In chess, the queen can move the full length of the board diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. See if you can piece... Place the five queens on this 5x5 five five chess board. There's a catch, though. You must arrange the pieces so that no queen blocks another line of movement. Isn't she cruel? Yeah, she's a little bit cruel, I would definitely say. Switchblade, welcome in, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Here. Oh. Hmm. I 
thanks for stopping by, Switchblade. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp. trickier. Does it mean they can't block each other in any direction at all, or just one direction? Any direction. Any direction. This one will go that way. This one goes that way. And that way. And that way. That way. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. How does this sound? Yeah, let's go. I did it. Yes. Trying to stop us, Mr. Chess Master. Good luck trying that. Wowzers. Looks like I'm gonna have to think about how to puzzle if I want to stump you. Can't wait for you to see my next puzzle. Uh-huh. Very nice. Alright. What about you, sir? Do you have one for us? I'm glad to see you, Professor. I seem to have gotten myself into another jam. I know you're busy and all, but I just can't find the answer to this puzzle. Could you help me with it? Alright, is it another drug puzzle, please? Apples to oranges. Oh! Thank goodness. It's not another jug puzzle. Okay, some careless delivery person loaded two shipments of fruit into the wrong warehouses. As you can see in the picture below, the oranges are currently in the apple warehouse and vice versa. And you correct the mistake and put all the fruit in its proper place. Of course we can. Create a pathway here. One here. here. This guy goes here. Oh. Lesson learned. Puzzles are what keep this town intact. <laughs> uh, it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Go here. 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 Ah, there we go. Got it. Well, nice. here's my guess. All right. I did it. Yes. Another puzzle solved. I think that should get put us at 70 now, though. So we're pretty good here. 71. 71. All right. Four more to go. Four more puzzles to go. There's gotta be some nearby. <laughs> Victory. Hey, mister. It's good to see you again. See, I'm totally stuck here, and I could really use your help. A friend told me this puzzle the other day, and I just can't solve the thing. Can you help me? Hmm. 
six, D seven, the chocolate toad. On Valentine's Day, your gadget-loving technophile girlfriend gave you the most unusual slab of chocolate. While the jumble of letters looks like nonsense, if you manage to decode the letters written on the uh, on the chocolate, a message from your sweetheart will appear. What is she trying to tell you? Huh. What is she trying to tell you? The letters are all jumbled up, and none of them seem to correlate that well. This is a pretty strange puzzle indeed. She loves you? It would seem that way. Huh. I mean, these bites must mean something, right? Otherwise, these bites wouldn't be taken out of the chocolate, right? It's rather surprising that your girlfriend would leave a message to you via chocolate. It's usually more her style to contact you via digital means. Digital means. certain sides. Does this mean that they're like on the opposite sides of what the letter is? So C it would be X. Y would be T. N. I can look at my keyboard for this actually. N is M. W is Oh! Hold on! We're getting a message here. E is the same, it has no bite. And G... Oh! <gasps> text me. That is a really peculiar way to make, uh... Text... Me. What? The whole digital means thing now makes sense. There we go. That makes so much more sense now. Oh my gosh, this is a complicated way to tell someone to text you. This is a really complicated way to tell someone to text you. Who creates code like that for something so simple? Exactly. Your girlfriend's message is text me. The bites taken out of the chocolate show how each letter written on the chocolate relates to letters on the keyboard. I was right. Let's go. Oh, is that all you had to do to figure it out? Why didn't I think of that? Can you keep a secret? Don't tell a Ad Ad Adrea, Adrea, Adria, Adria that you gave me the answer. Okay. 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 You're a thing, little girl. Sure. Sure. Oh, there's no one in the cafe still. Ha! I can't read! I can't read! Archibald, do you have something for us? We need three more puzzles. Oh, sorry to bother you while you were busy. But make an old man very happy to help with this puzzle. Certainly. Let's have a look. Alright. So Archibald has a puzzle for us. Let's do it. Whoa! What is this? Behold! Before you sits the laziest man in the entire world. Known far and wide for his aversion to physical activity, the slug has designed his house so that he can grab anything without leaving the comfort of his recliner. Using an elaborate set of tools, including a fishing rod, extendo arm, and high energy magnets, this legendary loafer has put everything in the room within reach. However, despite his efforts, there is one place he can't reach without getting off his duck. Hmm. What place can he reach without getting up off the sofa? Hmm. What place can he not reach 
He has a bunch of different tools that he can use. And yet there's only one spot he can't reach. What spot can't he reach? Huh. Can't he can get all this stuff in the can't get under his chair if he's on the chair right wait it can't be that simple can it, it can't be that simple can it? it can't be that simple right that should do it oh it is critical thinking is the key to success okay well there we go there's no way for him to reach under his chair without getting off his rear end. Ah, I see. You were right. Well, I was right. So that's the answer. In my heyday, I could have solved a puzzle like that before you could say cobblestone. My goodness, I'm getting soft in my old age. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. Some of these puzzles are just tricky. Alright, two more puzzles. Where can we find uh, dose puzzles? Dose puzzles. You two are certainly crazy about puzzles, aren't you? Well, I've got a whopper of a puzzle for you. Eh, okay, so you got something for us. Find the pentagons. What? Sometimes the biggest answers are the ones that are the most simple. Indeed. Hmm. A number of five said shapes are hidden beneath within the picture below. How many can you find? Answer when you think you found every hidden shape. Every hidden shape. Well, it's in a square, so that's one. Then there's one, two, three, four triangles, the diamond. Or rhombus, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. But it's pentagons. We have to find the pentagon shape. Hmm. I just realized the shirt Reinhold's old friend wears. I used to have one like that. Oh, I see. There's a pentagon right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five there. That's one. And then. Three, four, five. There's another one. Pentagons. This is bizarre. We have one, two, three, four. That has one, two, three, four shapes in it. This one. This one had three, and this one had four. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right. 
something does not seem right. No, wait. This one would have three because this one has a square and a rhombus. What the heck is this? I know. I know. What the heck is this puzzle? Ah! these shapes what about all these shapes is in common one two directions four ways three pentagons 12 that if because each pentagon faces four different directions I don't know I'm just kind of trying to think of something here this is I'm gonna try 12 because that's the only thing I can come up with right now. If I miss this, then I'll move on to something else because this puzzle Luke, is just absolutely my frying my brain right now. Whoa, 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 huh? Critical thinking is the key to success. How was that right? How was that right? Three different types of pentagons, each shape has four different direct. I said four different directions. Why didn't I? I didn't realize that that was what they were looking for. Oh my gosh. Okay. Enough with the pentagons. Maybe let's find a puzzle that's not dealing with shapes. Because uh, shapes are certainly not fun to deal with right now. We need one more puzzle, and we will be able to go up to the dead end. Sure, I can't interest you in a nice cut of veal. Veal deal. Nah, we're good, sir. How about you, ma'am? Do you have something for us? The answer is a simpler, is simpler than you think, I guess. Well, if it isn't you two again. All right, then. If you want to solve, want your fortunes told, solve this puzzle for me. All right, another puzzle. A broken window. Four kids were playing, and one of them threw a ball straight through your window. Here's what they have to say for themselves. Not me. I didn't break a thing. Okay, I'll tell the truth. It was me. I broke it. Don't be mad at A. He didn't do anything. B didn't break the glass, I swear. You know for a fact that the scamp who broke your window is lying. However... An unknown member of the other children may be lying as well. Which of these darn kids broke your window? Hmm. Which of these darn kids broke your window? Which one of you whippersnappers? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no. What to do, what to do. Well, A is looking the most guilty over here because he got the puff cheeks. He not happy. At least the three other kids are kind of like embarrassed. It's you. You broke it. It was a misunderstanding. It was a mistake and you wanted to see how much time it would take them to be at each other's throat. Oh. Prima. Prima. <laughs> how rude. All right. Um I'm thinking it's A. He looks the most guilty. No, I don't know that meme, Grima. <laughs> um, let's go with A then. He looks the most guilty. There we go. Hey! 
Ha 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 ha. He looked guilty. Good job. B and C were also lying about what happened, even though they themselves didn't break the glass. Make sure you give those two a good scolding as well. Hmm. The woman in the photo does not look happy. There's going to be a doozy of a rainstorm tomorrow. Hang your wash inside if you want to dry. Hmm. Well, we've solved 75 puzzles. Let's head back to the wall and tell the mysterious person, hey, we solved your puzzles. We solved your puzzles, sir. Hmm. Yep, it looks like you've solved at least 75 puzzles. All right, then. Go on in the tower. This place gives me the creeps. Plus, it's all murky in here, and I can't see a thi- Oh my. Oh! Ah! Oh. Ugh. My head. Oh, are you all right, my boy? No injuries, I hope. Don't worry, Professor. I'm fine. And yourself? Nothing a good long bath makes a wound so. More important, where are we? Oh! This room is stuffed to the gills with curious machines. I've never seen anything like them. What do you suppose they do? What in the world? Look over there on the wall, Professor. My word. There are few. There are views from all over town displayed here. Wait, don't they almost look like... footprint? And what's this? Almost every villager's name is on this wall. Mm, big lore time. Professor, what if someone's using this place to keep an eye on what's going on in St. Mystere? Mm. Look, there are stairs over there. Let's get out of here. This place gives me goosebumps. Yes, you're quite good, right, but... Let's head out. Hmm. Well, our next goal will be to, to explore the tower, which we will do next time. We will be doing that the next time we play. And yet another cliffhanger. <laughs> Although that should be to be expected at this point. Lore, and we are really close to the end here. We will be able to finish this next time, for sure. It's gonna be an awesome ending. Next time on Puzzles, Tower. <laughs> A mysterious tower, and no one knows what's inside of it. We shall find out on the next episode of Professor Layton in the Curious Village. <laughs> Oh lord, have mercy with all the puzzles. Come on, it's not that bad. Alright. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed today's stream. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid today before we end today's stream. Hmm. Let's see, who can we raid? Pika is live. Chica Chica is live. Let me see what she's doing right now. Let's see what she's doing right now. What's she up to? No problem, been a pressure as always. Hope there's a raid button. Yes. Oh, she's playing some Honkai Star Rail by the looks of it. Ah. Uh-oh. Looks like she's having some login troubles. Let's go raid our good friend, Pikachu Chica. Playing some Honkai Star Rail right now. We'll give her some support and some love. It's been a while since we got to raid her. 
Always a pleasure. Aw, happy to, happy to, uh, happy to cause enjoyment. Bless you. All right. If you're heading over to Pika's stream, be sure to type Jadesley Raid in the chat when you get over there. And, uh, well... Oh, I lost what I was going to say. If you're coming over to Pika's stream, type Shades Light Raid in the chat. Be sure to follow all her, her, her rules as you would mine. I cannot speak, apparently. And I will see you all next time, which is tomorrow. We will be playing some more Tales of Versaria. We're reaching the end here. Hopefully we can help Velvet out of her madness a bit, too. All right. Thank you so much for coming, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye! Stay sharp, Shade Slayers! <laughs>